explode waves. So basically, you're in this arena thing, and you're shooting zombies. Because everybody likes to do that, obviously. And you play as this Lara Croft type character. So, you know, that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, so definitely a bit uh, cashing in on that Lara Croft look. Which is an interesting sort of style to take. And yeah, this is the general look of it. She's very dead-eyed. Very, very, very dead-eyed. There's just, you can, you know, you can feel your soul getting sucked out. And then you're in this arena, and this is like the only mode present in the game. And you go around, and you shoot zombies. Specifically in the head, if you can. And you can see it's got an easy HUD. Top right kind of tells you what wave you're on. And how many you gotta kill. Oh, I thought that guy would've been dead. Nice. And then you, once the wave is done, you go into this little back room area, you buy barricades, you buy guns, you upgrade things. And that's kind of what you do. When you die, you die, and you restart from the beginning, and you do it all over again. It's kind of simplistic, but, you know, you get the sense of what it is. But definitely a Lara Croft type character. Definitely got some crazy hips going on there. And, uh, yeah, the top and everything definitely reminds me of the modern Tomb Raider character, even the ponytail and stuff. So, that's it. I think it's just like a no-named heroine she's called in like the starting segment. But yeah, I mean, it's not terribly bad looking. There are some little roughish edges on uh, the full screen, you know, on the 4K, but uh, as far as I'm aware, it's not enhanced like Xbox One X enhanced by I'm playing on Xbox One X it seems to run quite well so we're gonna see that the segment thing opens up and then you're able to go in and get some things and stuff like that so we're gonna do that top left that's your health you see my stamina bar decreasing as I'm running bottom right that's the money I've earned how many bullets I have left so this is like a fun little chamber of death um, you buy like items barricades I don't know, maybe we might need a gun and a turret. Just trying to show off what you can get in this. And then there's the, the workbench, and this is where you're able to upgrade your weapons. Kind of make them a little bit stronger. And uh, here is your your skills. You get, like, I guess a tattoo or a press or something. And you're just a little bit tougher. Ugh. And then, yeah, we go up and we get like a higher regeneration. There's just a bunch of different sort of perks, I have to say. They're basically like perks, uh, skills that you get. Here are the guns. So we got a like, cool ammo that we can buy, and then we can save up and buy like better weapons, uh, RPG 7, M134, and, like a sniper and stuff. So, again, it's a, a very simple sort of game. I mean, it's not trying to be anything too complex. But, you know, it, it gets the job done. It knows what it is. You just this chick, you're going around, it's, it's gory, you're shooting zombies. And then you go into like a build mode. Dun 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 dun. So that way you're able to build objects. Kind of place things. You get this menu and you can see. And we can rotate it. Places, places. I don't really know what this is going to do for me considering it's just one object, but. We're gonna throw it down, I don't know, here. And you see I've got my barricade. So there's like levels of strategy to it. And again, the visuals aren't too bad. I mean, it looks like a pretty realistic kind of structural item that you get there. And then we can start the new wave and we've got uh, more zombies that we gotta kill. You can also do tab and you can, that's kind of your weapon wheel. You can pick out like a big machete and you go into a Sort of a melee system, but you gotta watch your stamina, or you'll get caught and like sliced up by the zombie. So it's always good to keep a gun on hand. Maybe you use your ammo sparingly, try to aim for headshots. I mean, again, it's this is what the game is you, you're going around in a circle, you're fighting zombies. It would have been nice to have some additional modes because it does come across as a bit simplistic and plain, but to the side of that, you know what, they know what they're trying to do. I was kind of hoping he'd run into it and just sort of die. 
not try to break my, my barricade. Now uh, you can also like sort of roll. Takes a lot of stamina though. You can jump. So I actually jump and be his roll. Or you know console equivalent. We are on Xbox here. And you just kinda shoot and keep killing zombies and kill more. Twice nice close ups of those, you know. Action moments. I guess it's sort of a well it's definitely a third person shooter. Survival game. Wave based. Gets the job done. Fairly easy understanding. We're gonna chop somebody up because why not? We do this poor fella. Yeah, you do get to see some cuts going in. There's a freeze when you switch weapons. You're not, you know, completely screwed over. Which is a nice touch, I guess. Again, you know, it's kind of fun. I mean, simple. I know what I'm getting into when I'm playing this. It doesn't try to overly complicate things. It's got some building mechanics to it, even though they're minimal. Why do they just go for the barricade? That is so weird. I thought it would be more of like a a diverting thing as opposed to being like a diversion. If you know what I mean. It doesn't really seem to even like affect them damage wise. Mainly because I try to get guns because there's achievements attached to that. That's why I don't spend a lot of time with the uh, barricade elements of the game. I try to conserve ammo a little bit for the next time so I can buy something nicer. Yeah, pretty easy going. Go around, circle. Cut some zombies up. Have a good time. And you finish rounds, you go on to the next one. Jeez, intense. I just, I kind of wish they would have did something more with the eyes. They just, they scare me. You know? They definitely scare me. But the character model's surprisingly decent looking. I mean, you know. It, it does look realistic, so does the environment. They know what they're going for, and they they, they, they delivered on it. Uh, shotgun four thousand. See, uh, the submachine gun there kind of sucks. Thirty-five. You get the flamethrower. Yeah, let's get the flamethrower. That sounds fun. And you can like save up your skills, so you don't have to use them right away. Yeah, like you need more skill points in order to level things up as you progress. How many bullets I got? Forty-nine. Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna go back into the ring. Bring out some guns and stuff. Okay, like a I don't know how you would describe this, but sort of old style architecture, medieval kind of fantasy with zombies. Not really any narrative. So yeah. I'm not too sure what is going on in terms of why she's here or anything. Would have been nice to have some like mode variation but you know whatever take what I can get it's generally a pretty average experience I don't have any problems I, I haven't really seen any performance issues even with like the larger rounds where there's like just a pile of zombies coming down on you whoa that thing is sexy and you should just get these I mean, you gotta be careful too, right? There's like strategies. Uh, zombie training is a big one in this. If you're not familiar with Call of Duty Zombies, that's what you do is you go in circles. And you train the zombies, and then you just turn around at like a certain vantage point, and you just kinda shoot them down. Oh my god, this flamethrower is so cool! Except for the zombies that ran through it and are going to kill me. Jeez. Yeah, sometimes you get like a locked situation where you're just getting like pummeled on. You can't really move much. Just because when you get the close range, you don't really uh, have much of a defense there unless you switch over to your sort of melee based weapon. So yeah, ammo, definitely a bit of an issue. It does run out pretty fast. You gotta use stuff sparingly. Or you just buy the flamethrower, it seems like. That's not good. This is my favorite toy I've ever had in this. It's kind of amazing. So generally, yeah, that's, that's Blood Wave. <gasps> no! 
No! Flamethrower! You were my best friend. Uh, yeah, kind of a, I guess you could say, sexualized type lady, and you're just going around cutting up zombies. There's a decent variety, and I think the visual is all right. It's, it's gory. It just, it, the game is what it is, you know? It doesn't try to be anything too weird or different. It's pretty straightforward, the concept of it. You're in an arena, you're fighting to the death. And you're cutting up the undead. You're dropping, getting our power-ups get dropped. You might get, like, cool little abilities and stuff, but... Pretty simplistic, down to the point. Not a bad time. I've had some fun with it. That is Blood Wave.